I still don't know how to pronounce the name of this thing, so I'm just gonna call it as I see it. And if I say it wrong this entire time, so be it. Uh, the Evga XR1 Pro is the capture card I decided to go with for my current capture card needs. Um, I know the main one everyone likes to recommend is either the Elgato's or the Avermedia ones. Um, like I know there's Elgato HD60 and now there's some new one out there called Elgato HD60 Plus. Or no, Elgato HD60S. Right, there was an S after that. Um, and that one costs up to like around $200. This was 100 or I should say it was on sale for 100 on Amazon and BestBuy.com. And it's a steal for that price because if you saw what the original price was for this thing, yeah, the fact that they dropped it down to 100 uh, is definitely good. <laughs> I don't know if the price went back up since then, or if they dropped the price even lower, but it's definitely a deal. And as you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the box, this is compatible with OBS Studios. Yep. So the other capture cards I've been using this entire time were these two. Uh, well, this is not my first one. My first one is the Hapog HD VR, whatever it was called, the one that uses the basic RGB cables and no HDMI cables whatsoever until I got the HDMI HD which I started to have issues with so I went online and searched for another capture card something more affordable more cheaper and is one of these from Amazon the USB 3.0 4k HDMI video capture they have tons of uh, variations of these all over Amazon it's not bad but I don't know sometimes it can get extremely hot to the point where you could fry an egg on this thing and sometimes I notice whatever I'm recording tends to uh, freeze in the uh, OBS software but I don't know if that's the fault of this or the default of OBS so I guess I'll eventually find out when I hook this thing up and by the way this is going to this is just going to be an unboxing, not a uh, like a tutorial to how to hook this up with the rest of the components or anything like that. So here are some of the specifications, which uh, let's see if I could zoom in on that. There you go. It's got the USB 3.0 type C for the, inter uh, the interface that is HDMI input and output pass through. There's all the different inputs for it uh, from 40 blah from 480p all the way up to uh, 2160p at 60 frames per second HDR. And same thing for the pass through. There you go. There's all the dimensions and this weighs about 159 grams. All right. So I hope the camera covered all of that with the constant out of focus this camera likes to do um all right so this is the tape i assume right there so yeah i decided to upgrade it to the evga xr1 pro instead of going with the elgato or or at least the latest elgato because this one was uh cheaper than the rest of the competition that's currently out there all right, so that just slides out. So this is the capture card inside this part. Uh, take a look at all the stuff this comes with first. All right, so decided to lay out all the cables here and do a few uh, jump cuts and editing in this video. There might be a few retakes because I noticed I was coughing like crazy. I was like, oh great. <laughs> uh, let me redo some things here. So this is the uh, 3.5 audio cable that it comes with right there uh, HDMI cable just your basic HDMI and this thing which I had a look in the guide to find out what this thing was because I never seen a uh, USB C 
or USB type C to type A cable before because how this kind of like branches off like that. And of course there's the type C connector right there. I mean, that's what it says in the guide. Yeah, right there. It's a USB 3.0 type C to type A cable. And of course there's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or audio cables, excuse me. And the HDMI cable right on. So those are all the cables it comes with. And let's take a look at the actual capture card itself. Uh, trying to free it from its prison. There it is. Of course it has a plastic film over the reflective base of the capture card which is removable. You're supposed to remove it. I'm not going to do it now because I'm paranoid of getting fingerprints all over this thing, which will most likely happen. But it has a knob on there to control the RGB LED lights, which is part of the feature, which um, for me is unnecessary because let's face it, when you are using a capture card, what are you mainly going to be looking at? You're going to be looking at your monitor or your TV screen and your uh, recording program, right? To make sure everything is working smoothly. Um, I mean, yeah, it'll look pretty and that's nice and all, but for me, I think it'll be unnecessary. All right, so here's the Evga. If I'm still pronouncing that wrong, I apologize, but the Evga XR1 Pro on the bottom. There you can see the uh, 3.5 audio jacks or ports, I should say, for either your headset or your mic. Um, I mean, that has like a headset symbol right there. And on this side, there's a controller symbol. Not sure what that means exactly. I'm gonna have to look that up in the guide. What is that for? Uh, I'm looking through the guide right now. I mean, it could possibly be for the mic setup. Oh, no, it's for controller. It says console party link. So console party link and on this side is mic in line out for your headset or your mic. All right, that's interesting. And I'll show that in the guide in a few uh, minutes here, just to show you that that's exactly what that is intended for. Uh, so on this side is your HDMI out. And on the other side, I'm assuming it's the HDMI in. Uh, yes which my camera's going out of focus on, there it is. HDMI in and your Type-C port right there. All right, and on top, nothing on the top. It's just all plain. My apologies for the camera going in and out of focus. And there's the back of it. it has the OBS Studio sticker right there. Let's see, certified for OBS. And that's it. The rest are just UPC barcodes. Um, so pretty lightweight capture card. Once again, the weight of this is 159 grams. Uh, oh, right, the guide. I was gonna show you that I did read those from the guide a few seconds ago. So right there. As you can see, the bottom ports are for the mic in, line out headset, console party link for controller, and of course you have your HDMI out, HDMI in, and oh wow, that's crazy how it has a PS5, uh, what do you call it, a PS5 um, logo there, or not a logo, but a PS5 uh, picture, and USB Type-C connection to the PC or laptop. All right, uh, that should be it. Once again, this is just a unboxing and not a tutorial video. So I'm not gonna go through that process. I mean, if you had prior experience with capture cards in the past, like let's say your Elgato, this, this should be a breeze to hook up. And um, let's see, size wise, 
a little bit bigger than the old school Elgato. I'm assuming it's bigger than the new Elgato um, HD60 and HD60S, which I don't have, but from what I've seen in videos, it's a lot smaller than the old school Elgato. It's more like this. This uh, cheap knockoff brand here, USB 3.0, uh, 4K HDMI video capture. Definitely a lot bigger than that. Uh, usability wise, yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be easy. Uh, I hope it does not heat up as much as this cheaper one here, because this one got dangerously hot. I mean, to the point where you could literally, you could literally fry an egg on this thing. That's how hot it gets. Surprised it has not exploded in my face yet. Uh, so I hope, yeah, this does not get that hot. Of course, there's the knob to control the RGB lights on this thing to make it look pretty. And I'm assuming it could be used for the audio as well. So that's interesting. There we go. So that's the unboxing for the Evga XR1 Pro. Once again, you can get this from either Amazon or Best Buy for 100 bucks. Uh, which is a steal compared to what the original price was. Uh, and of course, you know, there are other better options out there if you want to look into those. If you want, if you are into uh, PC gaming, but if you are a console gamer, uh, this is just as decent to use as much as the, you know, Elgato's and Aver Media's out there. So once again, the cables that it comes with, the, what is this, 3.0? type C to type A cable right here. It comes with your HDMI right here and your 3.5 audio cable. All right. And I don't think I went through some of the features. Now I went through the specifications earlier, but uh, I did not show the features on this side. So I'll show that now. There we go. So supports up to 4K at 60 frames per second, HDR pass-through. Supports up to 4K uh, at 30 frames per second, video capture. Customizable RGB LED lights. Hardware mic and gaming audio control. Supports PC and gaming consoles. So yeah, you can use this uh, for PC gaming as well, but from what I heard, uh, people suggested looking into other options. USB 3.0 connection. And that's it. Just goes over the same things in different languages right there. All right. And there are the system requirements in case you guys are wondering about that. If you want to pause the video right here. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching my unboxing video for the Evga XR1 Pro. And finally, I have a brand new capture card to record stuff with or do some live streaming with. Don't know though, I uh, still have to work out a few kinks with either OBS or maybe it's my internet, but I don't know. I have a few more things to work out when it comes to live streaming. Uh, but thanks for watching this unboxing video and stay awesome everybody.